Yom Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Shemaka Kadash by Barakatam. First and foremost, I want to give the honor to Elders and Apostles Great Millstone, of course, can taught me this truth and who will continue to teach me this truth and who will well, as well as saying shalom to my fellow Akium and Athlothium of like mind. All right, so just looking at the news here, uh. Ignore this one, that's two years ago, but these ones are recent, two days ago, three days ago, four days ago. Um, there's been a heat wave. There was a heat wave in New York, but now it's kind of subsiding. You know, we're kind of getting into these later um, later months. So, uh, summer's kind of dying out, so to speak. Hold on. Summer's dying out. Okay. Uh, there was a little bit of, of, uh, of water. Today, a little bit of rain, and now the severe thunderstorms. That just shows you that the Most High Yaho is not with this place because first is severe heat waves, and now the severe thunderstorms. Okay, so this is this is just signs in the heavens that we're not dismayed at. All right, you learn out the way of the heathen, neither be dismayed the signs of the heavens, for the heathen not this this uh, dismayed at them. Let me see if I if I know that one off the off the top man off the off the top you heard all right you know, your little brother here shamasha shamasha one now i gotta make sure i get it yeah yep jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2 yep so um so this is just end times man we in end times new yorkers were asked to conserve energy amid the heat wave you know you had um different problems with the freon and this was only going on for maybe a couple, I don't know, maybe a week or so, this, this heat wave in New York City. Like maybe a week, a couple weeks, I don't know. I don't really remember. I think maybe two weeks of this. And it was a problem with the Freon. People were calling for it. There was overwhelming demand for it, for the newest, for the new Freon. And people had to go and pay for the old Freon. And then the old Freon was running out and there was a shortage of it. And then they had a lot of repairmen come in because people were having the ACs, I guess, all goddamn day. Which makes sense because, you know, some of these people, especially in the projects, they got grandma, uh, fucking, gra grandma, whatever the fuck, grandma, um, uh, Lucy, okay, who's fucking 80 years old. She don't go nowhere. She's just in the house. And she needs the AC on because it's hot, okay? And she's in there all day, so she needs that shit, all right? You know? So... We got the ACs on all day and people want their ACs fixed and they can't do it. They can't get to everyone and it's just a fucking issue. But you know, um, you know, I mean, the government, they fucking can't expect niggas to turn their shit off, you know. And even with that, with that, on one of these things, I think it was this one here, um, the second one, thousands of New Yorkers lose day, power on day four of heat wave. I think maybe it was a week. I think it maybe was only a week of the heat wave. All right. But, um. These people here, they show the projects. I don't really know which project it is. Maybe Gowanus, I want to say. I don't know. Maybe maybe somewhere in Canarsie or in East Flatbush. But those guys there, it was getting so hot that um, when the when the when the electricity ran out in their in their projects, they had to take it take the food out and they just did a big barbecue and just cooked all the food up so the food won't go to waste, which was you know smart on their part. Um, but we know that that it's really Esau. Esau's controlling the electricity. He's probably the, the one who's he, he probably turned up the heat, not the electricity. I mean the weather, because Esau can do that. I, I forget the name of the weather station, but I believe it's somewhere in Alaska, um, and he can control the weather. I thought shit. I I can't remember the name. I'm not gonna look for it. I'll be here for like ten minutes. I don't want to drag it out. But um, we know it's Esau doing it, man. So, you know where I'm going to go, man. You know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. You already know, man. If a nation rises against kingdom. So, remember, in this chapter, you know, the disciples asking him, what time will the end come? What time will the end of the world be? And he said, these are the signs. See, I wish I said these are the signs. All right. Um, now, he said, what shall be the sign, okay? In in converse, 
in, in contrast, in Acts chapter 1, okay, wilt thou at this time restore again Israel? So we're not supposed to know when, but in Matthew chapter 24, we were just supposed to know the signs. Okay, we don't know when, we just know the signs. Okay, for nation rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, there should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay, all these are the beginning of sorrows. So this is what's happening now. All right, we're dealing with sorrows. Okay, pestilences are coming, man. All right, there's going to be another lockdown more than likely. Okay, the Delta variant is rising. It's, it's, it's getting some traction. Okay, it goes past the, the darts. So you dumbasses that took the fucking darts, risking your life for a nation that a fucking calls you a nigger. Okay, y'all dumbasses are, are, are fucked. Okay, and when that MOB comes out, y'all gonna take that shit too. You're gonna eat it up like dinner. All right, you fucking dumbasses. You're the real sheeple, man. You're a fucking, I don't even know what the fuck to call you, man. You, you're fucking gum under my shoe at this point. Okay. Then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And you should be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Which all nations even goes into Israel, man. Even Israel hates you. Like, I'm even seeing it now, you know, through the spirit. You know, your little brother, Shema Shawan, you know, I've been growing in the spirit. Not tooting my own horn, you heard. But, you know, GMS homework, man, doing those, doing those tests and everything. Like, I'm getting more and more educated, okay? And your family, my family's been seeing this, that, you know... I'm, I'm getting more and more strict, okay? More and more, you know, just fucking... I don't really know what else to call it. Like, really just getting honed in, man. I'm honed in. I'm in here, bro. I'm really in here, okay? Like, like even even uh, 4th of July, right, coming up tomorrow, my mom had an American flag. I said, yo, if I see that American flag there, I'm not eating. And he said, oh, well, I'm going to put it up anyway. So, all right, I'm, I'm fasting. And that's what that's what I'm gonna do, man. I'm not eating. I'm not eating on no fucking Fourth of July. I'll eat when everyone's gone. Okay, I'll eat. All right. Well, well, while everyone's in there celebrating, having a good goddamn time, I'm not eating with them, man. I'll eat inside, man. Fuck that. Okay. I'm not celebrating this fucking country, man. This fucking dickhead country. To you dickheads out there, they'll say, Oh, oh, well, if you don't like the country so much, why don't you leave? Well, you fucked up every other part of the world. And we tell you how you fucked it up, Esau? Okay, let's go look at the Soviet-Afghan war. Look up Soviet-Afghan war, U.S. involvement. And you see that the U.S. gave money and funded insurgents down in that area. Okay? So now that area has a bunch of Muslim insurgents. A lot of them that the U.S. funded and gave money. And taught them how to fight, okay? And gave them the, the machine guns and, and, and tanks. Where the fuck is a fucking Ishmaelite gonna have a machine gun from? What the hell, man? Because <laughs> you, you fucking Edomites gave them that shit, all right? Dominican Republic, you know, I've been on Dominican Republic for vacation when I was a kid. You know, my mother took me there uh, with my aunt and some family members and shit. And, and down there, man, you got the police with machine guns. Why the fuck do the police need machine guns, Okay? Because it's fucking issues, and I know there's all sorts of corruption down there in, in, in DR, okay? All sorts of corruption down there in Haiti. All sorts of corruption down there in, in Africa. In Africa, you got fucking military soldiers walking around and shit, man. Like, uh, what's that nigga's name, man? Ah, oh, I can't remember that nigga's name. But you got one of them that's famous, that's like, no one can find him. I can't, I can't remember his name. It's like... Ningawi, I, I can't remember, but you got, you know, all, all those military companies down there, man. They're fighting over land in Africa. So Africa isn't safe. South Africa isn't safe. Okay. We go down to China. China hates black people. Okay. That's a fact. China's racist as shit. All right. China and Japan are racist as all hell, man. Okay. They got some Chinese Jakes down there, some Japanese Jakes down there that really won't sweat it. Right. But the majority of them are fucking dickheads, okay? They're just like you, Esau. They learn from you. Because I remember watching this one documentary about the Vietnam War, and Jake was down there, and even the Vietnamese were called Jake nigger. So where the fuck did the Vietnamese learn the word nigger? They learned it from you, Esau, okay? So you fucked the world over. There's no way, there's nowhere, no place that Jake can run to where we're going to be 
kumbaya and happy go lucky. All right, and that goes into those curses, which I'm not. I don't really gotta go bring them up. You brothers know what the curses are. Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight, just thirteen, and fucking all the way down, man. You already know, man. Okay. Um. But this is this is what's coming, chapter nine. All right, and the spirit. Um, I want to go into Revelation chapter seven because further cooperation that this is coming, man. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I'll start at number one. After these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, and the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Okay. Let's see here in God six. So yeah, you see that the, the horses are coming up. The red horse, which is Esau, starts fighting. Okay. You got the white horse, it's Yahawashai. I believe that's in Revelation chapter 13 or 14. That'll that'll show you that that's Yahawashai. But that's Yahawashai. The pale horse just is judgment and, and um turmoil. Okay. And then you have uh, there's a black horse as well. Yep, here it is. Third beast, the the black horse. Okay, and that's just um uh, um uh, that's judgment as well. That's just judgment, turmoil, pair of balances in his hand that just represents judgment, you know, and balance. Okay, and the fourth named Death, the pale horse, okay, which is really green, like yellowish, greenish color when you look at it in the Greek. You see chlorals, chlorophyll, green, green, yellowish, pale. So it's probably greenish color. Okay, so it's really the green horse. It's just those damn devils. Okay. And um, when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar shows of them that were slain for the word, for the testimony which they held. Okay, now that's the same thing I was talking about in Revelation in Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. Okay, first comes pestilences, famines, okay, wars and rumors, rumors of wars. Okay, which hasn't come, which are coming, they have come, but you can kind of see through the spirit that we're moving towards the persecution. Because even Facebook just came out saying, oh, are you a, a, a extremist? Facebook is calling people to call out extremists, okay, and put them out, all right? So this is just America, so-called America, Babylon the Great, the fourth beast, okay, coming back out here trying to um clean up its image that's all it's trying to do they're trying to clean up the image so to speak to try it and, and, and reassert their dominance and to create and usher in the new world order so they could put in the mob revelation chapter 13 and further proof aaron russo's documentary with alex jones and he talks about how the ultimate goal is to get bring in the marrow and to usher in um, a chip and force people to get chipped. It's coming, man. Okay, but the persecution is coming. It's not here yet, but the, we we already see the draconian laws. Um, you know, even the things such as the 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 vaccine card, right? The um dark card. If you hopefully that doesn't get my channel taken down, but if it does, fuck it. Okay, the dark the dark card. Okay, um. If you if you if you like make a false one, you can you can get fined up to like twenty thousand dollars, and you can also get up to a year in jail. So that all that just for fucking faking a, a card, okay? Because they deem you as a as a health threat, as a public health threat, and that's gonna come next. Whatever new variant, they're gonna say it's so bad, and they're gonna deem people that don't want to get darted or don't want to get the mob to be a health threat, okay? Which I may be speaking presumptuously there. We we really just got to wait and see. Really just got to wait and see. Okay. And. Um, and they cry with a loud voice saying. How long. Oh yeah. How holy and true. Dost thou not judge and defend our blood of them that dwell on earth. And white robes were given unto them. Every one of them. And say unto them that they should rest for, yet for a little season. Unto their fellow servants. And also their brethren that should be killed as they were. Should be fulfilled. Okay, so a lot of us are gonna, a lot of us are gonna die here, man. Okay, a lot of us, a lot of us have to die here. Okay, now I know most brothers say they want to live, a, they want to be alive. I know a lot of brothers got wives, 
You know, but a lot of us, man, we're going to have to just say, nigga, fuck it, man. You know, and that's easy for me to say. That's easy for me to say because I ain't got no wife. I ain't got no kids. Man, I, I'm maybe, I'm at least I'm not a virgin. I say that, at least I'm not a fucking virgin, but I ain't, I ain't swimming in bodies like the rest of you, man. I ain't swimming in bodies. I only got like one. All right. Literally one. So, shit, niggas really don't have a whole lot to live for. Just keeping it a buck. Like, niggas really just don't have a lot to fucking look forward to. <laughs> Not on this side. I got I got things coming to me on the right-hand side in the kingdom. But on this side, niggas, niggas ain't got shit. All right? But, um, yeah, we don't want to talk presumptuously, of course, and speak vainly. All right? I'm just speaking facts, man. Just... If you young, you 19, you, you 18, 17, 16 downward, man, you you ain't got really much to, to look forward to, okay? And um, and the stars of heaven fell into earth, even as a fig tree casts an untimely figs, which is nukes, and the heaven departs as a scroll when it's rolled up together, and every mountain and island moved out of their place as nuclear destruction. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, the rich men, the chief captains, and the mighty men, every bond man, every free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains. As some Edomites, man, they fled into the mountains, Edomites and other nations. They went with a multitude, probably with a couple jakes, a couple people of other nations to make them servants and maids and shit. And you got people all walks of life. You probably had a bunch of janitors go in there, had some uh, scientists, you know, some uh, mathematicians. Different different people, you know, sir, soldiers, military personnel, because Esau's thinking he's gonna get away from the from them nukes. All right, and them nukes are gonna come from Russia. Really, they're gonna come from all over. Even some of America's own allies. All right, the nukes are gonna come from all over. Okay. All right, and then in verse seven. Okay, and we skip to verse four because pretty much the angels here are just told not to hurt the earth. You know, because the elect was still being stealed, okay? Even even with those nukes that are going to hit America, there's still elect elsewhere, okay? There's still elect elsewhere. I saw another angel ascended from the east, having the seal of the living God. All right, I'm going to skip to verse 4. And there were the which were sealed, and there were sealed 140 and 4,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. And, you know, 12,000 really just means a, a large number. You know, 144,000 is really just a um, great number. Not this low, a beheld and low, a great multitude, which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, so lock you, and saw palms in their hands. Okay? Well, just, that's, that's, a, like, that's really my point, man. So, though it looks kind of bad out here, all right, talking first and foremost to myself. Though it looks really fucking bad out here. Though you in New York and you're dealing with these dickheads with the fireworks. Which Esau is the one doing the fireworks. Okay? And how do we know that? Because there's been videos of cops. Cops doing the fireworks. There's been videos of fireworks going on and the cops just sitting there and chilling and watching it. Okay? So the cops are a part of it. The reason why there's fireworks and they're going off all fucking night is to keep niggas from protesting. That's all it is, man. That's all it fucking is. All right? This is a damn devil. Okay? A damn devil. Um, but, you know, this is this is pretty much what I want to go to. You know, as long as you're keeping these commandments and you're loving the most high hell with all your heart, with all your mind, you're going to make it through, my man. All right? You're going to be all right. Okay? Though it may look bad, though you may be in a jail cell, all right, which, you know, you yeah, some some of us, especially brothers down south, you know, hopefully I'm not talking presumptuously, but using some reason and logic here, right? You brothers in down south got a hell of a lot more places to run than us niggas in New York, okay? New York is going to get fucking nuked, okay? I don't even really see myself um, getting really caught up by Esau, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they don't nuke New York, first and foremost... Then that is a stupid ass nation, okay? New York is, uh, what do we got in New York? You got the New York Fed, okay? And that's the biggest Fed. That's the King Fed. Of all the Feds all over the place, the New York Fed is the biggest, okay? So if they want to destroy the money supply and destroy the fucking everything, man, okay? You got 
Trump Towers and shit down here. You got, I think Trump Towers is in New York. I'm not exactly sure. You got all the best hotels, the best restaurants, okay? Which the best, those fancy pants restaurants are a piece of shit anyway. They give you tiny little plates, okay? Which I never been to one, and I'm never going to go to one. It's a waste of fucking money. But hey, maybe one day if I find a really nice prostitute and I want to go take her out, I might go do that, okay? That's yet to be seen. But my point is, is that they're, they're going to take out New York. Like, if you're in New York City, you know, maybe this, we really won't know until it comes to pass, of course, right? But I got a feeling if you're in New York City, you're just going to be delivered from the nukes. You're going to be beamed up in the chariots and be delivered from the nukes. Because I really, I really doubt, you know... That they, that New York is gonna just last and be around much longer. I I doubt it. All right, which we know. Maybe I am speaking presumptuously. Maybe Slakia, okay? Because we know that those famines and pestilences have to come first, first and foremost. And brothers gotta get killed first. So perhaps New York will last a little bit longer. But you know, yeah, you know they do. They do, they do have Fed camps down here. I'm sure. I have to go do my own research on that. Perhaps I'm speaking presumptuously, Slakia. But you know, um, I just don't. I don't. I don't see it, man. I don't. I don't see niggas running to Fed camp, FEMA camps. We're well, not running to FEMA camps. Running all over the, the running over the city in New York. I can't see it. You know, because um, or having niggas on the run, like niggas hiding in the woods. Uh, there's no woods in New York City. That shit is all gone. The only woods I can maybe think of, I mean, even the parks, you got big old parks, but niggas aren't going to get there. You got, um, you got upstate, I mean, but, um, it's four hours from Brooklyn to upstate and you would still have to travel, um, north to get there. You'd still have to travel through the city, through Manhattan, uh, to kind of leave. So I don't, I don't really see niggas, niggas aren't going to have any place to run. More than likely, is going to be a, a 1981 kind of feel to New York. You're going to have drones. I got a feeling that there's going to be drones. I really doubt that they're going to hold 31 million niggas in a fucking... 30 million niggas inside a fucking camp down in New York City. Now, I may be wrong on that. I may be speaking presumptuously. But I doubt it, okay? More than likely, it'd be drones... Niggas may be hiding in the projects or something, hiding from the drones or uh, running, run, running around. But now I don't see New York lasting too long, man. All right, that's all I got. It's like if I spoke presumptuously, but you know I'm pretty sure. You know we all we all know we 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 have a sure word of prophecy. Let's go get that. All right, sure word. We also Second Peter chapter one verse nineteen. We also have a sure word. More sure word of prophecy, where unto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day start rising in your hearts. Okay, it's talking about deliverance, man, which hasn't happened yet, man. We haven't been delivered yet. Okay, we got to take heed until it's over. So, you know, our prophecy, this will surely come to pass. You know, going to Matthew chapter 24, there's, there has to be fightings, there has to be uh, pestilences and famines, earthquakes. And then after that, there has to be, you know, persecutions. You have to be hated. Okay. All right. Which is going to be different for, for some people in other places, you know, down south. I know you got that white supremacist down there. So, dumb niggas may, may try to come at you. All right. I know one brother down there, uh, you're calling up nonstop on the block. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Um... That that brother made a video. He was talking about how he got into a fight with a with an Edomite. You know, he had to throw some hands at him because the Edomite almost ran him over. And obviously, if someone almost kills you, you're gonna be really fucking upset. You're gonna be very angry. Okay, all that lovey lovey Christian plantation Christianity bullshit is gonna lead is gonna is gonna go away. Okay, and he said, "Oh, you're supposed to bless them that hate you." That's talking about your people, man. It's talking about your people. That's not talking about the Edomites. Because in that case, 
That means King David was going off and slaving the Edomites. That's some hot, stinking bullshit. That's some bullshit. Okay? Now, what King David did, did do was bless and even try to be be polite with the house of Saul, man. You know? Um, he did deliver his, his sons up. Okay? Because, you know, he had to... He had to obey the vow, okay? But King David, even when Saul died, King David mourned. Now, when Agag, kind of, kind of, you know, getting a little out there, but when Agag died, was was Saul and Samuel, were they crying over having to kill Agag? They didn't give a shit. They cut that white nigga to pieces, man. They healed him to pieces before Yahweh. And Yahweh was smiling, and he was he was with it, man. He was sitting, he was, he was with it, all right? But well, that's A-OK, -okay. the he these fucking eat them to pieces, all right? So that's, that's all I got, man. This is another installment from, you know, your brother here, Angry Black Boy. You already know how it get, man. Shema Shawan, a.k.a. Angry Black Boy, okay? That's all I got. Call Halal Yahweh by Shimi Haushai by Shema Kadash. That's all I got, Shalom.